was born and raised in the city of Quito, uh, the capital of Ecuador. I was born in San Antonio, Texas, uh, but I grew up in McAllen, Texas. My mom is from Mexico, my dad's from Argentina. I was actually the first person in my family to be born in the United States. Both of my parents were born in Greece. I was born in Sichuan, China, and also grew up in the same region. I'm from Youngstown, Ohio, which is right on the Ohio PA border. I was born in uh, Barranquilla, Colombia. At the age of seven, in 1995, I moved to Queens, New York City. I went to Brooklyn Technical High School, and I went to Brooklyn College. I grew up in Sudbury, Massachusetts, uh, which is a small town outside of Boston. My mom is originally from El Salvador, and she came to Los Angeles, where she met my father, who was originally from Utah, and I was born in LA. I was born in Trinidad. My high school is called Bishop Anstey High School. It's an all-girls school, and it being all girls, they're really interested in sort of like creating these strong, empowered women. That was the first place that you know, really piqued my interest in science and in chemistry. I went to a pretty big high school. 99% of my school is actually uh, Hispanic. For most people, English is not their first language. For most people, they'd be the first to graduate from high school. My mom is a nurse, and my, she's a labor and delivery nurse. And my dad is a trauma and general surgeon. Um, so science is kind of in my blood. One of the main reasons I decided to major in chemistry was my teacher in high school. I was always interested in science, and I thought scientist was the coolest thing you could be, but it never really crossed my mind until college that you could become a scientist, uh, or that I could become a scientist. I got my undergraduate degree in anthropology, and after that I worked for several years. I applied to do a second bachelor's degree at UC Berkeley for two years. I really like working with my hands. That brought me to science, especially to to what we call it wet science, where you do experiments with your hands. What made me decide to apply to grad school was the, in some sense, the joy of discovery. It's an amazing thing. You get paid to study and to learn. Like, that's awesome. It was the REU at, at the University of Michigan that pushed me. Those summer research experiences definitely helped to understand how real labs work. I took the time, I took two years after college to really decide that this was the right choice for me. In 2013, Obama passed the uh, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, and with that came the ability to legally work. When I heard this, I knew it. This is my opportunity to finally apply for graduate school. I think about this a lot. I remember him saying, if nobody says no, you didn't reach high enough. I think I had a, a little bit of a preconceived notion about the type of people I would uh, encounter here. And I think that going away almost immediately when I, when I came here was like a big eye-opener to me that, oh, you could still go to a, a very fancy school without, uh, it, without having to feel like you need to be fancy. When I was teaching general chemistry, I was rethinking about what I thought I thought about chemistry. You try to push forward, you try to push the boundaries of what people know in general so for the hope that someone can someday stand on your shoulders. Wouldn't it be beautiful to make a connection with the world that we live in but understand how it works at a, at a microscopic level? You know, it is funny to kind of look back and see how, you know, the path has changed and how I've gotten to kind of where I am now at Princeton. This definitely isn't the path that I thought that I would be on, but Honestly, it's been exciting. I'm a dreamer. I'm a New Yorker. I'm a laser jock. I'm a comedian. I'm rather expressive. I'm an artist. I am an audiophile. I'm a boxer. I'm a Canadian. I'm a Youngstown boy. I'm a friend. I'm a new aunt. I'm shy. I'm a feminist. I'm an advocate. And I'm a chemist. And I'm a chemist. And I'm a chemist. And I'm a chemist. And I'm a chemist.